Hi Cancer, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. Um, this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, March 2022. However, energy is fluid. It really does depend on where you're at in your spiritual journey. Um, so this could have already played out, be playing out, or you'll see parts of this reading play out anytime between now and the next three months. If you're new, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you're returning, thank you, thank you. We are going to go ahead and jump right into it. If this reading resonates with you at any given time, please hit the like button because it does help with the algorithm of my channel. Personal readings, links, all of that are in the description box below. You can read reviews on my Etsy links if you are interested. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Mother, Father, God, Divine, Holy Spirit of the Most High. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for cancer in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what generational curses, karmic cycles, and soul lessons cancer may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am, and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. All right, so let's get some overall messages to start the reading with and see where we're at, and then we'll go into tarot. Holy Spirit, messages, please, of guidance and clarity for cancer in regards to this life situation. Two cards, please. Okay. But I really want this one too. Okay. So you're getting three. Ooh. Cancer. What are you going through? Okay. So you have, where can I create more space? And it says, instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do, Create more sacred space in your schedule, in your home, your mind, your lungs, and in your heart. Take time to just be. Um, Spirit is saying you need to clutter detox. You need to do a clutter detox of your schedule, home, and yourself. You need to make space, and then clarity will come. So you're looking for answers on a certain situation, and you haven't been receiving them or you feel as though you're cut off somehow from spirit because you haven't been receiving guidance. And it's really because you need to create more space within. If where you live is cluttered and a mess cancer, so is your spirit. It's, you know, energy needs room. And so for, for I'll say this, you know, spiritually and religiously, it goes hand in hand. But if you have a messy house, you know, demons live in there. Like negative energy is attracted to mess and clutter so you're needing to clear it out but i'm also seeing for some of you like you need to sage you have really toxic energy around you um and i'm cancer rising and so i can kind of i'm like seeing where this is fitting and what areas i need to do um you also have what excuses am i making right now so were some of y'all talking back to me right now no i'm just kidding um no more waiting there will never be a time that is good enough. The time is always now. And I say this a lot um, in my readings if you've been following me. You have to live in the now moment. The past is over and the future isn't here. You only ever have right now. And so spirit is saying, why aren't you doing what you need to do? What are you waiting for? Someday it's, it will be too late, but it's never too late to start until you're gone. Is that what you're waiting for? On the back, it says, if it's important enough to you, then you'll find a way. Today, make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready. You need to start listening to your heart. So you're listening to your ego too much, your mind too much. You need to come from your heart. That's where God lives. And it says, you will be led. People mistake the heart with emotions. The heart has its own brain. It just knows how to make better decisions than the brain, okay? 
You have, am I apologizing for my truth? This is a card that was calling out to me. I couldn't see what it said, but it was just like, it was sticking out like this. Um, so am I apologizing for my truth? It says, what part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Today's mantra, courage is contagious. Okay. So let's take a look. So you're, you're apologizing for certain parts of yourself somewhere. You're making excuses. Okay, so this is good. So Spirit's really wanting you to take a good look at your self-cancer and see where do you need to reorganize, you know, declutter and make space and make room. Okay, we have the four of swords as the current energy of your situation. So you're on pause, you're taking a break, you're seeking clarity into certain situations because you're going through a massive transformation. You're definitely dealing with a lot of endings. A lot of things are falling apart. A lot of things are shifting, okay? So let's see here. We have the nymph of swords, the queen of swords as the outside energy. Your challenge is the mystic, which is the Hierophant. In this deck, it's the Hierophant. <sighs> Finding the answers. Notice how the book is open and there's keys on the book, right? Knowledge. But then there's two full moons, two moons. Emotions, wisdom, removing the veil. You're having a hard time connecting to something spiritually, maybe just overall, or seeing the truth. You're not seeing the truth. Your next steps of action, tower, which in this deck is called the revolution. And the high priestess is your outcome. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck, you have the ace of cups. So this is new beginning in love. Um, this could be an actual connection and relationship. I also feel like it's more about you um, beginning a new journey of self, right? Connecting to yourself, loving yourself, filling your own cup. Come on. Ooh, and then you have the Knight of Cups here with the Warrior of Cups. And then you have um, Introspection, which is the Hermit. Could be interested in an Earth sign. You have Virgo and Taurus energy here. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is about self-love. This is about self-love, self-healing, you really, really connecting with what it is that you want for yourself and out of this life, okay? So you're being very particular about the decisions that you make, or are you? I think that you think you're being particular about your decisions, but you're not. All right, so you have the Four of Swords as a current energy. You need to take a break. You need to take a pause. I see that you're resting. You're trying to figure something out. You're meditating, going within. Clarify the Four of Swords, please, for Cancer. You have the Pelican, which is um, the Emperor. Foo wee. Why are you so... Um... Ha! Huh. This is giving me an answer for something I did, because I'm a Cancer rising too. Um, I was going to say, why are you so stuck on pausing something? or ending something or not moving like that because the um, emperor, it's very hard to get the emperor to move. It's very hard to get the emperor to budge, okay? Um, there's so much wisdom, there's so much knowledge, but you can't, there's one area that you're having a hard time, you're having a very hard time working through a certain area you know you have death and the four of swords there could be an um there could be an, an an ending in your life or the loss of someone important that is impacting this situation or your ability um here where you're not making spaces and you're not able to move 
because this is like foot down I'm not moving but you're not moving and nothing's happening okay you're trying to find a way around something without actually addressing it. Like you don't want to address it, but it's a problem. It's a problem and it needs to be addressed. You have the Pathfinder, which is the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Birds. Okay. It's like you are not, okay, t this is going to trigger warning and I love you guys and I'm saying this to help you, but see even what excuses am I making? It's like you, you are not allowing yourself to move forward. You're not allowing yourself. You're staying very, very stuck in your ways or very, very stuck and connected to something and you're not, um, you're not seeing past your own faults. It's like, because it's what you've believed or done or experienced for so long, you're like, no, that's the way it is. But it isn't. It isn't. And that's why you have the death card. I do feel like you know that there's something else, but you're not sure how to get to it. That's why you have this card. Where can I create more space? You have to take it step by step, Cancer. You have to take it step by step. Tell me about this death card, please, for Cancer. What's taking place with this death card? This is Scorpio energy, so you may have that um, in your moon or rising or Venus, or you could be dealing uh, with a Scorpio. I think I said Cancer. I'm sorry. So you have the shore, which is the tower. So you have the tower twice. Wow. And the six of swords and the t something is done, done. Something's over and you want to leave. You want to go towards something that is very, it's very, very attractive, attracted to you as are you to it. This could be an opportunity because it's the eight of pentacles with the nine of pentacles. It could be some type of work or stability, something that you've really wanted. Okay. But for death, for this awakening, for this transition and ending, you have the tower. Something big is taking place. Cancer. You're going through a really big shift in consciousness and awakening. The tower and the death is like awakening, awakening. It's two awakenings happening at once. So I can't, it's it's like, I'm all I'm hearing is a bomb go off in my head, like kaboom. And then you have six of swords and the 10 of swords. It's like, it's dead and gone. It's over. And you're like, no, and you walk away from it. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all I know how to say right now. Six of swords. It, it's almost like if it's toxic, it's not for me. It's dead. It's over. There's there's vultures on here eating a dead carcass. You're like, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. It's, it's a wrap. Okay. Um, outside energy is the queen of swords. This Queen of Swords has their back to you, though. So you might not be communicating with somebody, which I feel like you're not because you have the Four of Swords here. Tell me about this Queen of Swords, please. What happened with this Queen of Swords for Cancer? So whatever ending, whatever goes off here with this Tower moment, I wouldn't worry about it because you have the Ace of Cups here. So there's a new beginning taking place in abundance or love. There's some type of offer that's already here for you but i feel like you just have to go because you're trying to figure out what movement you need to make for your life to align yourself with this the queen of swords is clarified by the ten of pentacles four of cups five of trees nine of birds Why do I feel like somebody is offering you a commitment or they're offering you stability or something and you are turning it down, Cancer? You don't want it. Four of Cups and the Five of Trees is like, no. And then the Nine of Swords and the Four of Birds, you're like, I'd rather be alone. 
so there was some type of truth here or there's somebody here who's who's speaking to you about a commitment or speaking to you about leveling up or whatever it is and i don't see you wanting it i see you wanting to move away from it and that would make sense then as well with the hierophant being the um challenge what excuses am i making am i apologizing for my truth where can i create more space you're looking for space you're looking for room in your life to expand and to to move in different directions because i see that here because you're you're leveling up i don't like the awakening that you're going through right now is pretty intense um like i'm like nothing will be the same okay so when you have the mystic as your challenge, I think that for a long time there was, you didn't want to see something for what it really was. There were illusions because there may have been emotions involved, but you didn't want to see the truth of a situation. And I also feel like there was um, issues with commitment or somebody not really wanting to, yeah, because there's poppies here. So somebody was asleep. Somebody was not awake. Either you were woke and the other person was not in the connection. It was not. That's what I'm seeing. Clarify the mystic. Justice and the four of swords. A lot of like breaks, a lot of on and off. A lot of, I feel like the challenge also, so on a spiritual level, the challenge for you is meditating. The challenge for you is really going within. The challenge for you was, you had to break through a lot of um, beliefs, a lot of fears that were not presenting themselves clearly as fears. So it was even harder for you to remove these blockages that's what this challenge was. But see, the seven of birds, karma, and the six of. But see, karma's coming in to balance that. There was a, you had a an issue with um, balance or stability or something just kind of being even in the past. That was the struggle. I feel like there this was a relate. Okay, how do I explain this? It's like a relationship, but you never saw the person. That's how spirit is showing me. There was an issue here of a commitment, but lonely, a lonely commitment. And that lonely commitment that was playing out on the outside world, Cancer, is reflective of how you and the other person connect with yourselves individually and God. There was an imbalance in how your connections and relationships, even friendships, maybe even jobs, things of that nature, there was an imbalance in how they were playing out in your life because you weren't investing into yourself the way that you needed to. You have the tower as the next steps of action. And what flew out is the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Wow, so somebody's has a lot of pride, but they're gonna fight for this. I'm gonna put this back because I, I don't feel like that's what it was. So let's see what comes in with this tower, please, Holy Spirit. What comes in? with this tower, Holy Spirit. You have the Peacemaker, which is the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups. You're trying to make space and make room for something that is going to shock you, that's on its way to you. You have the tower already. I think you've made this realization. You've had some type of awakening about walking away from situations that were that were in a in an essence you betraying yourself. You were putting yourselves in situations that were not they were not for you. You weren't really happy in them. They weren't giving you what you were looking for and it's like there's a revolution taking place that's what this tower is there's a revolution inside of you that's calling you to align yourself with where it is you want to be okay the knight of cups the king of cups and the two of this is cancer energy there's an offer there's a message or there's somewhere that you want to be or somebody that you want to see and i feel like this energy is mutual the next steps of action towards you is is somebody coming towards you 
that is aligned with you. And I see you guys kind of meeting on this level. You're not expecting it. It is shocking to you. Yeah, and then you have the fool and judgment and the page of wands. So it's a new opportunity. You could be traveling as well. Let's take a look at this high priestess for the outcome and closing messages. Holy Spirit, please clarify the high priestess. This is about you surrendering and letting go. There's something in your heart that is calling you to follow it, to go in that direction. And spirit is asking you to let go and trust your intuition. I think sometimes cancer, you make a lot of decisions up here in the mind because we saw the six of wands come out before. So a lot of ego-based decisions. The high priestess is all about clearing out space and energy to allow things to come to you. I see spirit trying to get you um, a message. The three of wands, the eight of cups and the ace of wands. There's somewhere that you, there's something that you want to create. I see travel here. You have two cards of travel. So I don't know if you want to go somewhere or if you're looking to go somewhere because you're wanting to walk away and walk towards something. Wow. And you have the ace of pentacles. You want to walk towards something that brings you a lot of passion, that sparks your creativity, but has a lot of promise, has a lot of potential, a lot of growth. You can see what this situation could turn into. And I feel like you're holding on to this vision. You have very, very high hopes, but for some reason, you're not listening to your intuition and you're not moving towards it yet. You're allowing yourself to stay stuck in a situation that then makes you wait on the stability that you're looking for in life. All right, Cancer, sending you much love.